Hey guys, it's Rilette, and today I wanted to talk about the Mandela Effect. So I think anything surrounding the Mandela Effect is really, really interesting because hypothetically speaking, if all of it were true, it could be evidence and hints of a parallel universe slash alternate reality, and I think that's really, really interesting. So the Mandela Effect comes from, or is named after, this really important civil rights activist named Nelson Mandela, who was incarcerated because there was a conspiracy, I think, about him, that he wanted to overthrow the government. So incarcerated for life, right? So this is where it gets kind of weird. A lot of people remember him dying in the 1980s. They remember reading about him, hearing about him, or even watching the news about his death. They even remember his wife giving a speech about his legacy, about all his achievements. Anyways, he died 1980s. Come to find out, in 2013, that's when he actually died. When the people who believed that he died in the 1980s found out he actually died in 2013, they were very, big word here, perplexed. And me reading this, I'm just like, wow. Because it wasn't just like a couple hundreds of people. No, it was thousands of people who remember this vividly and it wasn't like he was just some regular guy no this guy is kind of a big deal because he had so many followers so the fact that people will remember him dying in 1980s when he never actually died at all it doesn't make sense it just doesn't so that's where the name comes from Nelson Mandela Mandela effect a lot of people remember it being one way when in reality it wasn't even that way at all or it was something else completely different the first example that I have which I believe a thousand percent is the Berenstein Bears. And I say Berenstein and not Berenstain because if there was an A, I would remember and I would pronounce it that way. Although this topic isn't scary whatsoever, I always wanted to take a subject and make it sound eerier than what it actually is. So you're about to see my amazing and wonderful acting skills. And these are just some quote unquote evidence of the Mandela effect in action. Even though we shouldn't have any because if we're in another alternate reality, we should not have any evidence of that reality. The pictures that I'm going to show in a little bit were posted four years ago on Reddit by a user named Diamond Ashtray, and it reads, Holy shit, found Berenstain evidence while packing. I'm currently packing for a move. My husband and I are heavily streamlining our VHS collection. I found my old Berenstain Bears VHS, an official label says both Stain and Stain. Stain appears on the front label, while Stain appears on the side. Also, and of less consequence, the label my mom put on the plastic video cover reads Stain. I'm literally shaking. And it gets even more weird with the redditor commenting, if it is an edit, then it's a really good one because it doesn't show any traces at all. Just putting that out there. Even though this next video is fake, I can't help but wonder, like, what if we're not in the reality that we started off on? Bum, bum, bum. A lot of people were saying like, oh, maybe we were switched from one reality to another. So maybe the people who remember it being an E were from one alternate reality. And now they somehow switched to the reality when it was spelled with an A. Imagine coming from one reality and getting switched to another. And then your parents not even being your real parents, but maybe they are your parents that they believe that the Berenstein was spelled with an E. That means they're your real parents and the people with the A, they're just new people and they're not even from the reality where you came from. I hope that makes sense. Curious George. So if you're gonna draw a monkey, a monkey has a tail. And a lot of people remember Curious George having said tail. Now why the f does this monkey not have a tail? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I beats me. If I am drawing a monkey, why would I make a monkey without the tail? So then I searched on Google asking like, oh, do all monkeys have tails? Yes, indeed, they all have tails, except apes, right? Apes don't have tails. So there's an argument that, oh, maybe Curious George is an ape, but they clearly refer to him as a monkey. Maybe I'm reading too much into this. It's just weird. You know what I mean? Double stuff Oreo cookies. Don't even look anything up. So double stuff. How many F's would you spell double stuff with? Personally, stylistic choice here, I would do as many F's as I could, like double stuff, right? I looked it up. It's with one F. To add emphasis on the double stuff, I would put more F's, not just one freaking F. Does it make sense to me? 